Please take your seats. Good morning. My name is Captain Daniel Berticelli, and I would like to welcome everybody to the 2021 Santa Barbara County Fire Department Recruit Graduation and Badge Pinning. These firefighters have worked very hard as well as their families to get to this point, and you should all be very proud of yourselves. At this point, uh, I'd like to ask everybody to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation un under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce Fire Department Chaplain Jerry Gray. Good morning. Give me a moment for my glasses to unfog. It's one of the drawbacks, as we all know. What a special occasion. Uh, this is one of the few times I haven't been able to spend time with recruits during the academy. Obviously, we know the COVID and things of that sort. So. But I want to say right now, congratulations for um, what you've uh, accomplished and looking forward to seeing you over the years. And uh, again, congratulations to all the family and friends that made this all happen. So at this time, let us ask the Lord's prayer in blessing on this day. Eternal God, as we gather together this morning in celebration of graduation, we invite you to join us in your blessing of these men as they take their oath duties and responsibilities as firefighters for Santa Barbara County Fire Department. We humbly request that you put upon them your protective shield against physical and emotional harm as they may encounter during their fire careers. May they have wisdom beyond their years and find great favor with their crews and chiefs. With great sacrifice, families have endured separation and hardship as they supported their loved ones in this academy. As we give them thanks, may you give them a special blessing of peace, rest, and your comfort at all times. We give thanks to the training chiefs, captains, along with their supporting instructors. May they find great gratification in giving this time and energy to this academy. May we offer up a prayer of divine wisdom and guidance to Chief Hardwig and his chief officers. To our sworn and unsworn fire family, May they find great joy in health and prosperity. We make these requests humbly to you. Amen. And now I'd like to introduce Fire Chief Mark Hartwig. Thank you, Captain Berticelli, and thank you, Chaplain Gray. Welcome this morning. I wish uh, we didn't have to do it this way. <laughs> I wish uh, we could have uh, all of the family members here today that, um, that each of the recruit uh, would like to have here. But I am thankful. I am thankful that we have you here and thankful that we are able to as we um, observe the guidelines here in the county, we're able to get together and celebrate you today, the recruits from the 2021 Academy. And I'd like to, before I start, if I could recognize just a few people. Supervisor Lavanino, uh, he's our fifth district uh, supervisor. Thank you, supervisor, for coming. The Board of Supervisors uh, sits as our Fire Board for the Fire Protection District, uh, Santa, Barbara, Santa Barbara County. We also have uh, Esmeralda Estrada representing uh, First District uh, Supervisor Doss Williams. Thank you for coming as well. Uh, something a little different this year is we uh, have it live streamed. And so for those of you that couldn't be here or families that couldn't be here and, and the greater fire department family and county family, uh, we're able to have it live streamed with the county a TV station, so I wanted to recognize uh, them and uh, thank you for making it available to so many more people than are uh, able to join us uh, here today. 
um, we, we, uh, we have our CEO and our other supervisors joining a live stream as well. And um, so I'd like to thank them and uh, their attendance and for their support. I wanted to talk a little bit to you, recruits. I've been able to address you uh, sparingly uh, throughout uh, this process. Uh, and then I wanted to finish by talking directly to the families, something that I haven't been able to do yet uh, and we are normally able to do. Recruits, if you remember, um, soon to be firefighters here with the county fire department, uh, one of the last times you'll be called to recruit, I think, uh, uh, is now by me before you uh, are given a badge and take the oath to become a firefighter here uh, in the county of Santa Barbara. If you remember, I challenged you when I first saw you, a challenge that was given to me and something that I haven't lost um, um, each and every day that I've come to work to serve those that I've been hired and um, charged to serve. And that is to be worthy, uh, to be a firefighter, to help others in their greatest time of need it is a calling and you've said yes to that calling and in order to you for you to be successful in order for you to meet the challenge each and every day you must be worthy and you and you must take the uh, uh, a challenge and be committed to be worthy every day what does worthy mean <laughs> of this calling um, well I, I think it means a lot uh, and and I think it might mean something different to each uh, uh, of you here but I will tell you that one of the ways, the places to start is to uh, embrace the values of the County uh, Fire District and the County of Santa Barbara. Commitment means a lot <laughs> to a lot of different people and you've spent, uh, undoubtedly, you've spent hours uh, uh, discussing and talking with each other, your, re your, your, your academy staff, firefighters in this organization have talked with you about what our values mean and yet values are just words unless you embrace them and internalize them. Commitment is a is kind of a broad word but commitment means that you're going to show up every day at your very very best. You are going to enter service to your fellow human being humbly but well prepared. It's your commitment, it's your promise every day to be your very, very best on every call. That's the way I see commitment. That means you can't have a bad day. That means on your worst day, you need to be very good. Every time that that alarm rings, you need to be your very best. That's your job. Your job is to promise to be your very best. We'll, we'll get you the tools. We'll get you the training that you need. Your job is to be committed every single day on every single call. Teamwork. Have you learned about teamwork at all? <laughs> Firefighting is a team sport. Uh, you won't be successful without the person next to you. I, I like to say that teamwork is, teamwork is submitting your desires, your interests to that of the team. Who's most important in a team? I don't know, is the hand more important than the leg? It's a good question. You, this organization is, is the body and you are something on that body. <laughs> you might be the legs if you're fast. I'm looking to see who's the fastest. Maybe you're the arm because of your strength. Maybe you're the head because of the mind that you bring to the game. Teamwork is playing your role as part of the greater good. And again, you've learned much about teamwork. Families, they will be successful because of you. Each and every one of you will 
contribute to their success. Sometimes they're going to want to come home and talk. Other times you're going to wonder why they don't want to talk. I realized long ago uh, as a fire chief that um, I don't give them the luxury to say no. I don't let them decide which call they want to go on. I don't let them decide whether or not they're going to subject themselves, their minds, their bodies to a certain situation. They've raised their hand. They've said, yes, choose me. We today have found them worthy of that choice and that calling. And yet with that comes a level of um, um, damage to their physical and mental body. I, I like to refer to it as a hard drive and it just fills up and their body, their mind, their physical body, your mind, will look for ways to deal with those uh, calls, those images. You will play a large role in how they deal with those calls. We are, are giving you support. I recall uh, uh, when I was hired many years ago, it was a weakness to be seen as somebody who was affected by a child who wasn't breathing or a family that might have been lost in a fire or just an elderly long life of an elderly person whose hand you hold as they pass on. If you were affected by that, you are weak. And yet today we say, how could you not be affected by that? We don't want a firefighter who isn't affected by the things that they encounter. And yet, you can't deal with any of those by yourself. You have the support of those here and not here. We uh, today uh, have invested and will continue to invest in your health, your physical and mental health. It gets back to then a decision by you to say, I, I, I need help. And it's okay to say, I need help. It, it, in fact, it's more than okay to say, I need help. I'm here to tell you today that you will need help along the way of your fellow firefighter, uh, of maybe a firefighter in a different organization, perhaps your family, a chaplain, or maybe a professional, and all of those are made available to you anonymously and confidentially without any knowledge of the organization. Please take advantage, and families know that that service, that that resource is here for you as well as you deal with your loved one, whether they're a son or a brother or a fiance, boyfriend, uh, or spouse, know that that is there for you and seek that out. Congratulations, we're gonna get to the good stuff in a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to swear you in as a firefighter with the county fire department. And I'm also gonna be able to um, watch uh, as your loved one pins a badge on your uniform, the uniform that you worked so hard for and the badge that you dreamed about for so many years. Before we do that, though, I'd like to recognize staff, uh, those that are behind me. Um, people often congratulate me for being the fire chief, and I tell them uh, sincerely that being the fire chief really just means that I don't work nearly, nearly as hard as those in this organization. Those that are behind me, um, those that you see in front of you, your recruits, and then, of course, the academy staff that work so, uh, so hard uh, to get you all uh, ready uh, to this point. So without any further, I'd like to introduce our academy coordinator uh, and our uh, training captain, uh, Captain Matt Osborne.
Good morning, Chief Hartwig, executive staff, county officials, department administrative members, friends and family. Welcome and thank you for being here and supporting our newest members to our department. My name is Matt Osborne. I'm the training captain and academy coordinator. Almost a year ago, our recruits started the hiring process. And in January, they started a 16-week fire academy, soon to be followed by a two-week EMS academy. And in that 16 weeks, they earned nine California State Fire Marshal certificates and four NWCG wildland certificates, which included California State Firefighter 1 and 2, Rescue Systems 1, Low Angle Rope Rescue Operations, Confined Space Awareness, Driver Operator 1, Fire Control 3, Hazard Materials Awareness and Decon, Auto Extrication, S190, S130, L180, and S212. None of this would have been possible if it wasn't for nearly 60 members of our department who participated in the academy in training all these individuals. One member I would like to recognize today who isn't here, he's probably working, is Captain Howard Orr, who has dedicated nearly 20 years of his service training pretty much every member of our department, including all our recruits. Thank you, Howie. And of course, to my academy staff, whose role is to provide guidance and get our recruits ready. My mentors, Firefighter Patrick Maloney, Firefighter Paramedic Matt Brody, who is on a strike team today, and Firefighter Fernando Medina. Gentlemen, thank you for your guidance and getting our recruits ready. To my engineers, Engineer Tyson Perkins and Engineer Brett Manfred, whose role is to provide logistical support and pretty much be there every single day making sure everything runs smoothly, taking care of the small things and the big things for us. And to my training partner, Captain Rob Durchie, who is there every single day, tell me everything's gonna be okay. So my little right-hand buddy right there. And uh, to Battalion Chief DeAndre Wiley, who unfortunately isn't here today, uh, thank you for your ongoing support. And I'm looking forward to the next Academy starting in January. And to Sandra Viola, our administrator, thank you for keeping everything straight. To the recruits, the academy is the foundation of your career. Build off of that. Success is not an accident. You got here by hard work. You got here by studying and sacrifice. And most of all, love what you're doing. You all love it. You don't think you do, but you do. You like being here. You love this profession. It's not a job, it's a profession. You're our future, so make us proud. Keep our tradition alive. In just a few moments, you're gonna be placing that badge upon your chest, and you'll be no longer be addressed as recruits, but as firefighters. Because one day, you will be old, you will be slow, and you'll be frail. And someone will ask you, what did you do when you were young, when you were strong, and when you were fast? And you'll tell them you were a Santa Barbara County firefighter. I'm proud of you guys. Congratulations. And now let's uh, prepare for the badge pinning ceremony. <laughs> All right, our first recruit is Recruit Brett DeBone being pinned by his girlfriend, Lauren Gonzalez.
Our next recruit is Luke Hart, being pinned by his girlfriend, Taylor Plash. Our next recruit will be Tosh Ebert, being pinned by his wife, Nicole Ebert. Next is Travis Hone, being pinned by girlfriend Gabriela Apollino. Next up is Colton Lopez being pinned by his stepfather and Santa Barbara County firefighter Jesse Esparza. Next up is Drew Morehouse, being pinned by his mother, Ann Culber. Our next recruit is Austin Murrow, being pinned by his mother, Maria. Next is Jay Mashinsky, followed, or uh, crash, sorry, being pinned by his father, Mark Mashinsky.
Next up is Boyd Peterson being pinned by Richard Glaus. Next up is Connor Racina being pinned by his wife, Kelsey. And last but not least is Dominic Ranaletti being pinned by his wife, Kate. So now I'm going to ask the executive staff to sit back down. And as what you have probably learned a lot in the academy is that when you screw up, it's all about how you recover, right? Well, I kind of screwed up the rotation here a little bit. And I would like to actually introduce class speaker Jay Mashinsky to come up and speak to the class and everybody here as a badge-wearing firefighter now. So please come on up. just as I uh, thought I was off the hook. Um, forgive me for my cheat sheet. Oh, boy. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Santa Barbara County Fire Department's Recruit Academy of 2021, um, I just want to welcome you guys here, uh, everybody here. I want to thank you for being here. Uh, sincerely, from the bottom of our hearts, it means a lot to us. Uh, the past year, year and a half has definitely been trying to say the least for most people I think in the world so uh, in order for you guys to come here for everybody to be here in person it's a pretty special special occasion um, so about 16 weeks ago we started this journey that was undeniably very difficult fun I think most importantly it was a lot it was very enjoyable for all of us recruits um, we learned a lot about ourselves we learned a lot about each other uh, and as our chief said, we learned a lot about what teamwork really means, um, you know. And this department is all about teamwork and all about family. Um, <clears throat> just going through in my head some of the hardest days that we had together that really stuck out to me that kind of taught us how to function as a team uh, was during the first couple weeks of our academy, it was uh, SCBA weeks. For those of you who don't know what SCBA stands for, it's self-contained breathing apparatus. It's basically a big tank that's on our back full of air that we breathe uh, when we need to, like in a fire, for instance. Um, we're just learning how to you know, put it on, take it off, push all the buttons, all that fun stuff. And uh, it was raining for most of the first couple of weeks. So needless to say, it was pretty miserable physically, mentally. It was, it was exhausting. Um, that day in specific, the one that sticks out, we had a very rigorous morning uh, physically, and then we went to lunch 
after lunch, we were in our full turnouts, our SCBA on our back. And we were all standing at attention, waiting for instruction. And I remember the lead instructor said, OK, we got something fun planned for you guys. And we were all looking at each other like, oh, neat. Oh, what's it going to be? And we run out to the track in the big center field. There's a bunch of barrels, oil, just big oil drums. And we're all looking at each other just like, what's going on? Are we going to roll these things around? Um, and what the drill was, it's the barrel drill. And it's a very traditional drill in the fire academy, or in this fire department. It's teaching us teamwork. It's teaching us how to do a search, um, just the basic fundamentals of search. So we have our mask on. They take away our sense of sight. So they black out our masks. We're on air. And we're crawling around in teams of two. It's raining. It's slippery. It's muddy. It's like I said, it, I mean, it was just, we were destroyed after that. Um, but one thing I'll always remember that really stuck out is that a bunch of strangers, all of us, we kind of came together that day. I think that was kind of the first day where we clicked, and it kind of you kind of felt that that turn, you know. Strangers be say uh, you know eating lunch, you know, 70 feet away from each other, not talking, to now we're actually working together as a team. Um, you know, some people were way out in outer space doing this drill, but the drill was basically you. The barrels were numbered, and you had to go from one barrel to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, and it was just chaos. It was probably pretty funny for the cadre to see us, though, like rolling around and stuff. But anyway, um, I kind of want to take that feeling that we all had during that day and just keep that feeling throughout our whole careers of that teamwork, that kind of first, uh, that first taste that we got of it. And I want us all to just fall back on that and know that we all have each other's back throughout our careers and throughout life, really. Um, needless to say, you know, you guys are all family now. We're all family, uh, and strangers became, you know, best of friends. And I can say that, without a doubt, I would choose each one of you guys to bring me back home to my wife and my kids. Um, sorry. <coughs> I got something in both my eyes. I don't know what happened. Um, weird. Really weird. Anyway. Um, so from all of us to all of you, thank you so much again for being here. Uh, we'd like to thank our fire chief, Mark Hartwig. We'd like to thank all the executive staff, um, all the administrative staff. Uh, we would like to thank our uh, operations chief, Woody Enos. We'd like to thank our uh, training uh, battalion chief, DeAndre Wiley. Uh, we'd like to thank our training captains, uh, Captain Matt Osborne, um, Captain Rob Durchy. We'd like to thank our, um, our mentors, um, engineers Brent Manfred, engineers Tyson Perkins, firefighter Patrick Maloney, uh, firefighter paramedic Matt Brody, uh, firefighter Medina. Um, we'd like to thank all the cadre and instructors that were bearing with us and trying to cram 16 weeks of material in our brains and for their patience and understanding. Uh, we'd like to thank our family and friends for being here. Um, and if I could have all of the significant others of the recruits stand up, please. So if everybody could take a look around. Um, these people are the people that we went home to every night, um, that were there with us every day, that uh, showed us love, showed us patience, showed us kindness, and Without you all, we would undeniably not be here today, standing here, so thank you, thank you very much. Now I'd like to reintroduce Chief Mark Hartwig for the oath. Think, um, I think you're noticing a theme, right? It's the old um, congratulations, but, right? You've been told congratulations before, and uh, we have something fun for you, and um, fun to, takes, takes a different meaning to different people. And so now you're recruits with badges. Um, it's soon to be firefighters, but then you'll be firefighters, probationary firefighters with badges and the work still goes on. 
when you're off of probation. It will be another congratulations, but now you're a firefighter off of probation with a badge, and every day it will be congratulations. You get to go serve the public, but you have work to do. Your commitment is to be better each and every day. So congratulations, recruits. Stand, I'm gonna lead you through the oath, the oath to become a firefighter, and then you'll be a probationary firefighter for the county fire department. Stand, please. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. Do solemnly, swear do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the State of California. I will obey the county laws and ordinances and familiarize myself with the rules, regulations, and orders of the Santa Barbara County Fire Department. I will faithfully serve the county in the discharge of my duties for the welfare and protection of the citizens to the best of my ability. Congratulations, firefighters and public. I present to you the newest Santa Barbara County firefighters. That concludes our ceremony. Thank you, everybody, and congratulations.